Hey guys, it's Moon Moth Goddess. Welcome back to the channel. If you're returning, welcome. If you're new, please consider subscribing for those of you that have not done so already. And if today's pick a card reading does resonate for you, please feel free to check out the pick a card playlist um, that I have listed for you guys. For those of you that are wanting to book a private reading, my email can be found down below in the description box where you can send me an email and I will provide you with more information on booking readings with me. For those of you that are feeling generous and want to donate to the channel, I do have my PayPal, my Cash App, and my Amazon wish list. For those of you that are wanting to send in a tarot or an oracle deck for me to use for our future pick a card readings. For those of you that have recently donated decks as well as sent um, to my Cash App or my PayPal, thank you guys so much for your love and your support, your kindness and your generosity. I truly appreciate you guys so much. And for those of you that leave me beautiful comments and even take the time to send me emails to let me know how these readings are helping you. I truly appreciate you guys um, for your feedback. Um, so today's pick a card reading, we're asking spirit, what is your person's next move towards you? What is their next move, their next actions um, towards you? So we're going to do three piles today. Uh, pile number one is going to be the pastel writer weight. Um, and this is actually available on make plain cards. Um, and I will put the link down below for you guys. So the pastel Rider weight tarot, um, and that is going to be with this pink agate for pile number one with the pastel Rider weight tarot. And then the pile number two, you are going to be this malachite. Um, and this is with the unicorn tarot, which was actually donated by Gabrielle. So Gabrielle, thank you so much for sending in this beautiful little deck. Um, and that is with this malachite for pile number two. And then pile number three is going to be the Crystal Visions Tarot. And that is with this rose quartz for pile number three. What is their next move, their next actions towards you? Pile one with the pink agate, pile number two with the malachite, and then pile number three with the rose quartz. Timestamps will be down below in the description box as well as pinned to the comments, and I will see you at your reading. Hi, pile one. So for those of you that resonated with the pink agate and the pastel rider weight, this is going to be your reading today. And we're asking spirit, what is their next move, their next actions towards you? So before we get into that question, I do want to just kind of look at what the current feelings um, your person has towards you. So we're going to start off with that um, just so that I can get a feel for what the, the, the energy that they have towards you. Um, and then we'll ask spirit, what is their next move, their next action towards you? So let's get into it. Pile number one. Number one, what are your person's current feelings towards you? What are your person's current feelings towards pile number one? Okay, so we have the page of wands. What are their current feelings towards you? Some of you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We do have the two of cups. What are their current feelings towards you? Pile number one. We have the six of wands. And we also have the five of pentacles. Okay. And I am seeing the nine of wands underneath the deck. So some of you could be dealing with a no contact uh, situation. We, I am seeing the five of pentacles here. Um, so some of you could be in that no contact situation with your person currently. I'm seeing the ace of cups right underneath that. Um, your person could be feeling shut out at this time, either that they have shut you out. Um, you may have shut them out. Um, being that the five of pentacles is, is speaking about a feeling of loss, of emptiness, of void. Um, 
And I'm seeing that we do have the nine of wands as the overall energy here. The nine of wands would be that your person may be feeling a little bit hurt, a little bit guarded, um, wounded, whether it's from this connection or from something previously. Um, and I'm seeing with the page of wands energy here, we're starting off with that. I do feel like your person is wanting to come forward to message you, communicate with you, or to move towards, um, connecting with you in terms of a relationship being that the two of cups is here and then we also have the six of wands which is some type of um could be some type of victory or some type of this feeling that when they are with you or connected with you that they feel good they feel happy they want to kind of make this move i feel like even though we're not there yet because i am seeing the ace of cups here and the ace of cups could be about renewal reconciliation or you know taking this opportunity that is here to connect with you um even for the first time for those of you who are like this is somebody who may be like a crush or you've never dated them before so i do want to clarify this energy just a little bit because i want to see why this five of pentacles some of you could have been ghosted by this person or you could have ghosted this person or some i feel like your person is just feeling a little bit down a little bit challenged um, right now because of this five of pentacles. So I do want to clarify that. Why is this five of pentacles energy here for pile number one's person's feelings? Why is the five of pentacles here? Okay. So we have the six of pentacles. And I feel like I want to get one more. Why is the five of pentacles here? I'm seeing the Wheel of Fortune reverse. So I'm almost kind of feeling like there, there, for some of you, there may have been something that happened between the two of you um, that has maybe changed the way that both of you were able to put into the connection. The Six of Pentacles energy is about reciprocity. It is the equal give and take in a partnership. Um, and being that we do have the Wheel of Fortune here in reverse as well, Things for some of you could have taken a little bit of a turn for the worse, or there may have been some changes like this person felt were like outside of their control that may have changed the way that this person was interacting with you. Okay. I do want to see this six of wands energy here. Five of wands. Okay. I am almost feeling if there has been something that has caused a some type of challenge for you in this person um meaning that uh, there could have been some challenges or conflict even with the five of wands here and if that is the case i feel like with the six of wands energy here your person may be kind of um a little bit prideful um a little bit i feel like of their ego kind of getting in the way okay of this maybe of this person contacting you messaging you we also have the four of swords okay so i am kind of picking up a little to no contact type of situation this person taking some time to really think about what is happening between the two of you um i feel like at this time okay so now what i want to do is i want to ask spirit what is their next actions like I said, I'm kind of feeling that either you've put shut this person out um, a little to no contact. Um, if there hasn't really been any type of conflict between you and this person or challenges that you're currently going through, it could be that this person is facing inner ch challenges from within the self from being able to come forward here with the page of wands and the two of cups. The nine of wands energy could indicate that this person has gone through some painful or even very difficult situations in their past or even with you. And they are coming across as a little bit guarded or a lot guarded. Um, so let's see here. I want to ask spirit, what is your person's next move, their next actions towards you? Pile number one. What are your person's next moves? We have the high priestess energy here. What is their next move towards you? We have the chariot. 
one is their next move. We have the devil. What is their next move? Two of Wands. What is their next move towards pile number one? We have the moon in reverse. And then we also have the knight of wands. Okay. So I am seeing with the devil energy here, there is a little bit of fear coming from your person um, about moving forward. I feel like with the high priestess energy starting off with that, this person is kind of holding a lot of, I feel like this energy here, the five of wands, the five of pentacles energy within them. Um, and I feel like they're trying to move beyond that, move beyond the fear maybe any type of insecurities that they may have about coming forward. But the two of wands energy there, there is a choice, a decision that this person is making. And they feel like they're at a crossroads right now with making that decision. But we do have the moon energy here in reverse. The moon is when it's in the upright position, it is a hidden energy. It is fear. It could be doubts. It could be thoughts that this person is kind of having at the back of their mind about you in this connection. Um, and keeping a lot of things hidden within them, especially with this high priestess and the moon, they're both hidden energies, but with the moon in reverse, I feel like your person is kind of opening up, like, um, revealing something to you revealing. I feel like the, for some of you, if you're having a disagreement or like maybe a falling out with this person, that this person is letting you know that they still have these romantic feelings towards you, um, you know, if you guys are dating each other or in a relationship together and there's been some challenges, some bumps along the road, if you've never dated this person before, then that moon energy could be this person opening up and revealing their interest in pursuing this connection. Because we do have the Knight of Wands energy and the Knight of Wands is this energy of of uh, movement, of, of pursuing something, your desire, your passion. Um, so with the moon, I'm feeling like this is this person, your person kind of opening up, revealing to you, communicating. So I want to clarify, why is this moon here? We have the six of pentacles. Okay. So to me, this person revealing that they want to create balance. They want to, um, to me, it's kind of like this person showing to you or proving to you in a way that they're willing to put in work with bringing or restoring even balance, harmony into this connection. Let's get one more. Why is the moon here? The three of wands. Okay. So the three of wands energy here, for some of you, there could be, it could be a distance connection, distance relationship. Um, but I'm also seeing that with the three of wands, this person is also still letting you know that they still want to plan. They still see you as part of their future. They still see you as someone that they still see potential with potential in, um, in that energy. Um, I am seeing the three of cups underneath the deck. So this could be reconciliation for some of you, um, planning a meeting. Okay. Planning a meeting, coming together, going on a date, um, seeing each other, some type of reunion here. So let's clarify this Knight of wands. And we have the Eight of Swords. Okay, so yes, there is a little bit of, of some, I feel like, anxiety that this person is trying to move beyond. Um, why is the Knight of Wands here? The Queen of Cups. Okay, so the feelings are still, there's feelings here. Um, still feelings. If, if, the, if you're kind of questioning, does this person still have feelings for me? Um... And they're trying to move beyond that Eight of Swords energy. The Eight of Swords is kind of like a mental prison of negative thoughts and overanalyzing, overthinking things. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy here as well. Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces um, as well. And I am seeing the Page of Cups underneath the deck. So this Page of Cups could be some type of communication is their next action. It could be an apology if an apology is something that is warranted with the situation, especially for those of you where there is some type of conflict differences that you and this person have had. So 
I almost feel like it's trying, like they're trying to gain this momentum that comes along with the chariot about saying, okay, I have the willpower, I have the strength to be able to move and push beyond this fear that I have with making this decision to come back towards um, pile number one or to come towards pile number one for the first time with some type of offer here with the page of cups. Like I said, it could be an apology. It could be some type of romantic type of communication. Um, if the two of you are starting something off for the first time, then that page of cups would be flirting, courting, um, messaging you, talking to you because this person does have feelings. Okay. So let's get a little bit more. We're asking spirit. We're going to start our Oracle cards now. What is their next action towards you? What is their next move? towards pile number one. You know, so Scorpio energy here. What is their next move towards pile number one? What is their next move towards pile number one? We have dead end. What is their next move? We have admirer. What is their next move? Wow, we have engagement. And we have fate. And it says fate is guiding and helping this connection. Destiny is with you. Now, I want to know why this person feels like some they're like they could be kind of like at a dead end. We're seeing the two of wands here. And the two of wands is kind of like that crossroads. You have a choice to make a decision to make with how you're going to move forward. So being that this person still feels this energy towards you, the admiration, um, we're seeing a little locket here with a, a key. So this person has feelings. This person has interest that is there. And I feel like interest in commitment here, okay, being that we have this engagement here um, and we have fate here. Fate is guiding and helping this connection. So I want to see why they feel they're at a dead end. And I almost feel like it's kind of like they know that they have to make a choice. It's it's like uh, move beyond the fear, right? Because that fear isn't going to bring them uh, anywhere. We have the hermit energy here. So the hermit Virgo energy, they could be spending a lot of time alone, thinking, planning. We have the emperor energy here. And the emperor is about action, about decision, choice. So it's kind of like this person feel knows, knows within themselves they have to make this decision. And I feel like the energy is more so on the side of, I want this connection. I want to put forth the energy towards this connection. Um, I want to get one more. We have Aries energy here with the Emperor. We have the Page of Pentacles. So to me, it's kind of like this person is wanting some type of a new beginning. It can also be like if you and this person are kind of like having some differences, difficulties, challenges, they may kind of feel like this way of going about things isn't working, right? Something has to change. And so with the hermit energy, there's a lot of that reflection inwards, a lot of introspection, a lot of trying to find and navigate their way through the insecurities, the fear, uh, the emptiness, the void, if they're feeling that five of pentacles energy, feeling alone, feeling lonely. Um, I am picking up for some of you that there is some type of life change that this person is making or wanting to make. They may kind of feel like they are at a dead end in their life, maybe with the direction that they have been going. And they're wanting to kind of take some action towards making change for some type of new beginning here with the Page of Pentacles. It's kind of like this eagerness that, that your person has to start new, to start over. Um, and I'm also seeing the judgment energy here as well. Judgment could be about forgiveness, letting go, transformation, um, and bringing about renewal for your connection. Okay? Okay. So let's get some oracles here. 
pile one. What is their next move towards you? What is their next move? Patience, planning, timing. And we have the number 16 here, which uh, is the tower, which is the tower in the tarot. Um, this also reduces to a seven. So like I said, I'm kind of picking up that there are some big shifts or changes. For some of you, there could have been turmoil uh, taking place in this connection. Major changes, some upheaval even that you've encountered with this person. Um, this person could also be, like I said, going through some type of shifts or changes. Um, I don't know why. For some of you, I am picking up that this is a person who may be going through a divorce. Okay. Who may be going through a divorce. Um, so that may not be for all of you, but the emperor can sometimes be a uh, husband. Um, and if this person is someone who is married and you are connected to them, um, they may be kind of feeling that that marriage is at a dead end. Like they're, they're at it. Like, like I said, this pivotal point or this, this big change that is taking place in their life. Um, we have rest and rejuvenation here as well, right? So if you look at his body language here, he looks like he's trying to meditate. He's trying to look like he's getting clarity, um, to be able to, bring forth all of his energy, all of his power to be able to make these clear decisions because the emperor is about getting a bigger picture perspective and uh, being able to stabilize your energy, feeling grounded and uh, secure, stable um, with the action that you are taking. So let's see. We have the number 19 here as well. We have appreciation. Okay, so to me, it's also like this person is maybe even thinking about doing something to show you that they do appreciate you, that they do recognize you for uh, maybe the for some of you, the effort that you put into this connection. Um, what else am I seeing here? With the number 19... That is a number 10, which is some type of completion of something, but it's also new beginning because that 10 reduces to a one. Um, and then we also have a six here as well, seven. So I almost feel like it's like that there are some challenges that are here, but it's kind of like this person is, you know, wanting to bring about balance, harmony in this situation and to restore uh, stability with your connection, um, which is kind of what I'm feeling here. So let's get, I'm just like bumping this whole table. So it almost like it, like there's planning here. There's planning here with, with the, uh, what is their next move? Pile number one, what is their next move towards you? We have love yourself first, and it says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. We also have release your ex. Okay, the time has come to clear your energy. Um, so like I said, for some of you, I am picking up that there is a, a third-party situation here for some of you. That there is, if, if your person is someone who is going through a divorce, um... then I feel like this person is trying to really uh, regain their sense of stability, balance. Now, for others of you, if this is an ex-partner, okay, if this is an ex-partner, um, then this is where they may see that the way that you had been going about your connection previously was something that was not working, right? That it was not working. Um, so this person learning to love themselves, learning to find that peace, that inner balance within themselves, make some changes to themselves, their personal life, 
really deep diving into the self, finding oneself as well with the hermit energy here. And releasing any of that past energy that they may have had. Let's just say that you guys we used to argue, you used to fight. There used to be some differences that were there. This judgment energy brings in renewal. And in order for you to bring about that energy of renewal, you have to release and let go of the old story. You have to release and let go of the old ways, old patterns of behavior. Hold forgiveness in your heart be able to release those things. So for release your ex here, it could even be that this, that your person is releasing and letting go of everything that they had been holding on to, right? Especially if this is say a person that you're connecting with for the first time, and they're really opening themselves up to new love again, that nine of wands energy is sometimes very tired, very drained and feeling very hurt and wounded from things that they had gone through previously. So if that is the case for your person, the release your ex is where they, the ending maybe even of their previous relationship, even if this person has not been married before, the emperor and the dead end and the hermit, if they have gone through something in their past with an ex-partner, they do have to let that go. They have to work on letting that energy go, learn to love themselves so that they can then open themselves up to the love that you are willing to give to this person. Okay, so I'm seeing a couple different situations happening here. What is their next move? Pile number one, we have flirt. Okay, so we saw that with the little page of cups. I don't know where the page of cups went, um, but the page of cups is, is flirting. Okay, it is, it is reaching out, it is talking, it is communicating. So to me, that energy is about you, your person coming forward to send messages, communicate, apologize if that is something like I said that that is necessary in the situation if there has been any kind of disagreements between the two of you okay so I do see this person coming forward to express feelings emotions communicate um uh like I said some of you I'm picking up that this person could be going through a divorce or separation or this person has had um a long-term relationship or connection that they're still healing from for some of you, it could be something that they had before you, or it could even be if you and this person had a relationship previous and this person is working on releasing all of that energy, finding their balance from within the self, that peace, that calm so that they can open themselves up, be more emotionally mature, emotionally stable enough to be open to receive, open to receive love open to receive the new opportunity that is here for you and this person to connect with each other okay so i'm going to leave your reading here for you pile number one i hope this was helpful for you guys and i will see you in the next reading hi pal two so for those of you that resonated with the malachite and the unicorn tarot this is going to be a reading and we're asking spirit today what is your person's next move next action towards you so before we get into that question, I need to kind of get a feel for what the energy, the feelings, energy that your person has towards you. Um, and then we will look at their next move and their next action. So that is going to be what we're starting off with as just looking at what their current feelings and energy is towards you. And then see what their next move will be. So pile number two. What are their current feelings and energy towards you? Pile number two. What are their current feelings and energy? We have the death card in reverse. So some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio, sun, moon, or rising. What is their current feelings and energy? We have the four of wands or the four of rods in this deck. We have the two of wands. What are their current feelings towards you? We have the four of pentacles. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the wheel of fortune. Okay. 
So what I'm kind of seeing here is that we do have the Four of Wands, and the Four of Wands is about coming together relationship as we're seeing this couple here. For some of you, this Four of Wands could be a reunion, meaning that the two of you are coming together for a commitment, a relationship. Um, and I'm seeing with the Two of Wands energy here, there is this person being at a crossroads with making that decision. We did start off here with the death card in reverse. So for some of you, I do feel like this could be an ex-partner. It could even be someone that has tried to let go or tried to move on from the connection um, because they were maybe feeling torn between furthering it to the next level. Um, but being that we do have the death card in reverse, it's kind of feeling like this person hasn't been able to let go and like fully just say, okay, I'm walking away from this and you know not returning it's almost like this person is is having difficulty with releasing or letting go um of you of this connection we do have the four of pentacles energy here so for some of you it could feel like this connection is stagnant like it's not progressing it's not moving forward say to the next level and the Four of Pentacles energy, I'm kind of feeling like your person may be feeling afraid to change what your current status is into something more. But the Four of Pentacles is also about holding on to something tightly, afraid to let it go. So it's almost like this person is afraid of loss, afraid of losing you, but also afraid of commitment. And it's kind of like with that death card in reverse, like... Part of them may say, okay, maybe I should just end this. But then another part of them is, I want this. So with the Wheel of Fortune energy, I'm kind of feeling like this person is waiting, almost like they're waiting for the right time to take action. So I want to clarify this energy a little bit. Why is the Death card in reverse? We have the Star, Aquarius energy. I want to get one more. Why is the Death card in reverse? And we have the Three of Swords. Okay. Now, some of you with the Three of Swords energy here, this could have been a, a breakup that you and this person had. Um, and if that is the case, this person may be still healing from this connection and feeling torn. Like, should I move forward with this connection? Should we get back together? Right? Afraid, maybe. For others of you, this Three of Swords could indicate that this person is still not over an ex-partner. OK, there's some type of pain, some type of disappointment or loss that this person has experienced that they may still be healing from. So if you are in a situation where you're dealing with someone, say, new and or even have been dating them and you've been kind of waiting for them to kind of take things to the next level because this person is still holding on to this energy and still healing from it, they may be a little bit leery about jumping right back into a new relationship, a new connection. So take that how it resonates, but I am seeing this Three of Swords energy here. It could either be that you've had a breakup with this person and they're having difficulty letting, you know, the past go, letting go of, of, of things, bringing an end to things that are no longer serving. Um, or for others of you where this is could be someone new or if you've never been in a relationship with this person before, that they are trying to get over things from the past. Okay, so I do want to clarify, why is this Four of Pentacles energy here? We have the Three of Wands, and we also have the Six of Cups. Okay, Six of Cups energy. For some of you, the Six of Cups could be reconciliation with this person. Um... I'm also seeing this as past Okay, this past. If this person has a, a past person that you know, maybe they've told you, hey, I'm still, I'm not ready yet, or I'm still getting over an ex-partner. Um, with the Three of Wands energy here, this is energy of just waiting. Okay, like this person is waiting. They could be keeping distance. Um, there's definitely this energy of missing you and thinking of you. The Six of Cups energy is about nostalgia. So they could have a lot of past memories with you um, that they're remembering. Um, and I'm looking at this guy here. He's leaning against the rocks and he sees, he's looking at these two horses. 
looking at these two horses here. So to me, being that there is this four of wands here with this couple that is together, it's almost like your person is imagining the two of you together. That's kind of what this is giving to me, is that this person is just kind of waiting. Um, there may be distance between you and this person at this time. They're kind of filled with a lot of thoughts of the past. But this energy, like I said, is just kind of waiting. There is, a, you know, stagnancy that's here. They may feel like things are not progressing. Things are not moving forward. Um, either because they're still healing from something from their past or they're still healing from uh, your past with them together. So let's see. What is this Two of Wands energy here? The Ten of Cups. Okay. So it's kind of like this person is trying to make the best decision for themselves with what is going to bring them the most happiness in the situation. Okay. That 10 of cups could be, yes, the two of you being together, being in a commitment. Um, and I'm almost kind of feeling like your person is trying to think about what, what at this point is going to bring them that type of happiness, that type of joy, that type of fulfillment. And is this connection it? Why is this two of wands energy here? The three of cups. Okay. So reconciliation for some of you coming together, spending time with one another. Um, this could be going on a date. Okay. Reconnecting with each other. Making a decision. I'm feeling like this is an ex partner for some of you. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to look into your, your, your actual question here, which is asking spirit, what is their next move? Okay, so I'm going to use a different tarot deck. So pile two, what is their next move towards you? What is pile two's person's next move towards them? We have the sun. Leo energy. The high priestess, Pisces. We have, again, the two of wands energy here. What is their next move? The ace of swords. And then we also have Justice. And then we have the Knight of Swords at the bottom. So we've got Libra energy here. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So I am seeing where this person is making a decision, a choice. We've also got some Cancer energy here as well. Um, and I feel like with the Justice energy here, if there are... Um, like if you guys have had a breakup previously with this person, then I'm feeling like with this just energy here, this person is, is wanting to bring balance to justice to the situation. And that could be being open, being honest with you, um, taking action. A lot of this energy is, is action oriented, um, actually with the Knight of Swords energy here. This is decisive action, quick decision, choice. I'm, I feel like with the Sun energy here, finding the confidence from within um, to trust their intuition, okay, with the High Priestess energy to make this decision because the Ace of Swords is like a breakthrough. Like this person having a moment of clarity, to be able to take action with the justice energy, it is weighing your options, making the right decision, doing the right thing. And I feel like with the Knight of Swords energy, this is taking the action that is required. And that could be coming forward and communicating with you. It could bring bringing justice to the situation, balance, fairness, 
Um, and if you've had a breakup with this person, then that justice energy would be this person making a decision to come forward, to communicate with you with that Knight of Swords energy. So this could be some type of breakthrough in communication for some of you with that Ace of Swords energy. This person making plans for the future for the two of you with the Two of Wands. And we do have the Chariot underneath the deck, okay? And this is going to be about your person feeling confident to move forward with what it is that they feel intuitively that they're wanting to do, which I feel like is that reconciliation or being in a relationship, you know, allowing themselves to move beyond fear and or even heal if there is past pain or heartache that may have been holding this person back and kind of making them hesitant, um, apprehensive, guarded with taking things to the next level. So I am finding that this person is, is finding that confidence within themselves to listen to what their intuition is guiding them to do. So let's look. Pile number two. What are their next actions? What is their next move towards you? What is their next move? We have long distance love. Across oceans and faraway places, distance is no barrier with this love. So some of you could be a long distance relationship between you and this person. Um, and so if it is long distance and your person is kind of feeling that even so that they still have these feelings towards you or they do have these feelings towards you and they're wanting to put forth I feel like the effort with, with making this work. So let's see. What is their next move towards you? Pile number two. We have marriage. Okay. So that could be commitment, right? Committing to you. Uh, now, depending on how far into your relationship is, like let's just say if you're in a no contact situation right now, your person may not necessarily come forward and say, I want to marry you, right? It's kind of like a process that you go through. So depending on where you're at, you know, if you've been dating this person for a long time, if you've, if you've been, have a lot of time and in, invested into this, then yes, it very well could be taking things to that next level with marriage there. But I, I really see this as a card of, of commitment between you and this person. Um, what is their next move towards you? Pile number two reconciliation okay so for some of you it is reconciliation if you have a history with this person we also have ego okay so in this little card here we see this heart and then we also see this thimble with the sewing needle through it so the ego can be something that comes out of a place of fear of doubt and the, the thimble is something that, if, for those of you guys that are familiar with sewing, the thimble is something that you put on your finger to protect your fingers from that needle poking you, right? So to me, it's kind of like symbolic of your person kind of building this wall around themselves, around their heart, because they may not have wanted to get hurt, right? So the ego is something that they're needing to kind of uh, work through, and set those fears aside so that they are able to let down the wall and open themselves up to be vulnerable, right? Allow themselves to be open. So let's see what else. What is their next move towards you? We also have unrequited here. What is their next move? And we also have karma. I have karma here. And justice is also about karma here as well. So I'm almost feeling like this person is questioning. You know, if, if some of you could have been dealing with an unrequited love situation in which this person could have pushed you away, you could have pushed them away. They could be uncertain of what your feelings are as well. Um, I am seeing this yellow rose here. As well, so for some of you, this could have even been a friendship that developed into something more or that you're wanting to kind of develop into something more. 
So I am I kind of feeling that this person is taking a lot of time to also reflect on their own actions, their own decisions with karma here and how that is affecting them now. If this person has been someone who has pushed you away or broke up with you, right? They could be questioning, does pile number two even still care about me? Do they even still want this? Um, so yeah, we have this little yellow rose that's kind of like, looks like it's dying over in this little cup base. Um, so it's kind of, to me, it's kind of like your person is thinking, reflecting upon if there are still feelings that are here. You know, if there's still feelings that are here, if you still care about them, um, what your feelings are, do you still want this? They could also, there could also be with this unrequited here, a fear of rejection. Okay. Fear of rejection here. Let's see. Pile number two. What is their next move towards you? What is their next move? We've got hostilities here. So that's kind of reminding me of the five of swords energy, five of swords. Um, in which this person is feeling very defeated in this situation. Um, there could still be some type of conflict, even resistance to pushing things or moving things forward too quickly. Okay. What is their next move towards you? Pile number. We've got the third chakra with Archangel Shamuel, which is the solar plexus. Okay. That is connecting to the sun energy. This is finding confidence, finding confidence within themselves to move forward, to talk to you, to communicate with you, to move things to the next level here. If this person is looking at reconciliation and marriage commitment, um, you know, finding their power. What is their next move? We have angel of love. Okay. So to me, this is that this person is, Opening their heart up. Allowing themselves to be vulnerable. Okay. Having the confidence to no longer fight, but to allow themselves to, to love here. Okay. What is their next move, move towards pile number two? What is their next move towards pile two? We have calling in your soulmate. What is their next move? We also have children here. Some of you, there could be children that are involved. Okay. This could also be resolving, having the confidence to resolve, um, resolve differences between the two of you. Okay. Some of you, I don't know why, but I'm just kind of picking up a pregnancy here. Okay. Like a family situation. Uh, you could be pregnant. Um, they could be someone who's pregnant and picking up here. So resolving things between each other. For some of you, there could be children that are involved here or pregnancy. It could even be the inner child. Uh, let's see. What is their next move? What is their next move? We have let go of control issues. Okay. And it says, allow the situation to unfold naturally. So like I was saying earlier, not forcing things. Okay. The person is not wanting to force things to move too quickly, too fast, or to, you know, just allow things to unfold the way that they're meant to. We do have calling in your soulmate and it says your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So I feel like there is also this shift in perspective that this person is having about resolving differences, letting go of, of past conflict that is here, because with this hostilities here, it could be that there's still things for you and this person to resolve, still things to move beyond, or this hostilities energy can even be to me kind of like the five of swords, this person feeling defeated, or even having a tendency to sabotage, self-sabotage, um, connections underneath the deck, we have engagement and it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay. So in this pile, we've got engagement. We also have marriage. Um, so like I said, depending on what your current situation is with this person, if you've been dating them for a while, then it could be moving beyond that type of five of swords type of energy and finding the confidence to just open their heart up to 
allow you in, you know, and to resolve and bring balance to um, past situations that have occurred between the two of you to resolve them, to heal them, to uh, find the confidence within themselves to move forward from a place of confidence um, to resolve between the two of you. Okay. So I'm going to leave a reading here for you. Pile number two. Um, and like I said, if this is someone who you have no history with that three of swords and all of this energy that they're feeling kind of like this, this energy of a need to fight resistance is them finding the confidence and the power within themselves to let their past connections go, let their past connections go so that they can open themselves up to commitment with you. Okay. So I'm going to leave it here. Pile number two. I hope this was helpful and I will see you guys in the next reading. Hi, pile three. So for those of you that resonated with the crystal visions, tarot and the rose quartz crystal, this is going to be our reading today. And we are asking spirit, what is your person's next move, their next actions towards you? So in order for me to kind of uh, take a look at your situation, I'm first going to be asking spirit what your person's current feelings and energy towards you are. Um, and then we will ask the question, what is their next move from what they're currently um, feeling? So let's get into that. Pile number three. Pile number three. What are your person's current feelings and energy towards you for pile number three? What are your person's current feelings and energy? Pile number three. We have the High Priestess. We have the King of Pentacles. We also have, wow, the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. What are their current feelings? We have the Wheel of Fortune. And then we also have the Two of Cups. Current feelings. Wow. And then we have the Ten of Cups underneath the deck. Okay. So this is some pretty, pretty strong feelings, energy that this person has towards you. Um, with the Two of Cups being here, I do feel like this person feels a very strong bond, very strong connection to you. Um, the two of cups can be like a soulmate type of energy that this person feels towards you. Um, and I feel like with the king of cups energy here, this person has very deep feelings that are here or even sees the potential of which there could be very deep feelings that are developed in this connection. We do have the king of pentacles here as well. So I do feel like this person wants to have commitment with you. Okay. Um, stability. And about opening themselves up, I feel like, to this connection. With the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Cups, it's almost making me feel like your person feels that you and them are almost meant to be with each other. Meant to be with each other. And with the High Priestess energy here, your person could be, you know, hiding a lot of what they're feeling inside. And they may feel that there is a very strong bond I'm noticing that in this Two of Cups energy here, there is this little, what looks like a little fairy, but there is this glowing light. So to me, it's kind of like this is spirit that has led or guided this connection between you and this person. And that may be something that they feel between the two of you is that this is something that is being divinely guided. Okay. Almost like the two of you just kind of, kind of, kind of came into each other's life and you're, there's a very strong feeling that this person has towards you. We've got Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy here. And with the Ten of Cups, wow, and we have the Queen of Cups right underneath that. And the Ten of Pentacles and the Empress, wow. So it, it's kind of like this person feels that you really, you truly are someone that they feel very strongly connected to, that they want to have, I feel like, long-term commitment with, um... Someone they hold a lot of very deep feelings, emotions, love towards. Some of you could have a family with this person or be wanting to pursue um, having a child with this person. 
Some of you can also maybe even be pregnant. We have the Empress here as well. So I do feel like this person feels very strongly connected to you. Um, the bond that, the, that you and this person share with each other is something very deep, something very beautiful um, in this connection. So um, what I want to do, I clarified the other uh, piles, but I almost feel like your energy is, is very straightforward with what this person feels towards you. There is no guessing, there is no questioning that this person has some very strong feelings here. So we're going to ask, what is their next move? What is their next move towards you? Pile number three. What is pile number three's person's next move towards them? What is their next move towards pile number three? We have the six of swords. What is their next move? Four of Swords energy here. Eight of Wands. What is their next move? Page of Swords. Ace of Cups. Okay. I like it. I like it. Okay. So I'm going to get one more. What is their next move? Pile number three. The Four of Pentacles. Okay, so I do want to clarify a little bit of this energy here. I'm, I mean, I'm feeling that this person does not want to lose you, does not want to lose you. But I'm also feeling this energy here where they are trying to move on or let go of something. And I almost feel like it's any type of negative thoughts that they have. And I feel like with the four of swords energy here, your person is reflecting to, for some of you, you could be like taking a break or there could be a no contact situation right now. And it's kind of like this person has been reflecting on what they want to say to you, what they want to communicate to you. Um, with the eight of wands, which is messages back and forth communication. Um, the page of swords is also communication. So I almost feel like this person could be, their next move could be this person communicating to you about how strong their feelings are and about how they're not wanting to lose you. I feel like with this Four of Pentacles, but there may also be some fear here with that Four of Pentacles. So I'm wanting to clarify the Four of Pentacles here and the Six of Swords. I almost feel like the Six of Swords is your person trying to let go of or move on from the maybe inner inner conflict or inner turmoil that they've been going through. Um, so let's see. Why is the Six of Swords energy here? The Three of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Swords here? The Queen of Wands. And it's almost like this person is trying to move toward, towards pursuing and putting the action. Okay, so there it is, the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands would be the conflict this person is feeling internally, the inner conflict that may have been blocking them from coming forward. And with the Queen of Wands here and the Three of Pentacles, this is feeling very attracted to you, feeling very drawn to you. And I feel like wanting to come forward to build something with you with that Three of Pentacles energy. Okay. So let's see what else. Let's see what this Four of Pentacles energy is here. The Star. Why is the Four of Pentacles? The Empress. And we also have the Wheel of Fortune again. Okay. So... Yeah, some of you, there is maybe a pregnancy here or children, uh, family. And I feel like, like I said, this person is not wanting to lose you. And I feel like trying to stay optimistic about your connection, you know, that things are going to work out. The Ace of Cups energy here could be the, the opportunity for a new love. For the two of you to start new, to start over, 
to reconcile with each other. Okay. And I just feel like it's like they're trying to let go of any type of conflict that they have surrounding you and them being in a relationship together. We've got the four of wands underneath the deck. So we also have Aquarius and Taurus. Um, energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarian energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. So this person wanting commitment, not wanting to lose you. This person feeling very attracted to you, very drawn to you. And I'm also kind of feeling like this person feeling that very much that this connection is something like you guys are meant to be with each other. Meant to be. What is this Page of Swords energy here? Nine of Pentacles. Why is the Page of Swords here? The Hierophant. Yeah, so I almost feel like this person is coming forward to communicate with you with the, their next actions. Coming forward to communicate with you about being in a committed partnership. Okay, we have the Nine of Pentacles energy. So if your person's been single um, for a while, or even is single right now, hopefully they're single <laughs> um, with the Nine of Pentacles, um, that they're trying to move themselves into a very stable, very secure type of energy. And this person is kind of voicing to you, communicating to you that they're wanting to take this connection to the next level. Okay, pursuing it, feeling more confident about it. Um, like I said, the amount of, of, of feelings that this person has for you is very strong. And this is actually, I feel like the most positive of the three piles, um, with the feelings that they have towards you. It's like, there is, this person feels very sure of what you and them have with each other. Um, very sure of what you have with each other and, and really wanting this to be something that does work between the two of you. So let's go into our Oracle. Pile number three. What is your person's next move towards you? What is their next move, next action? We do have children here. So some of you could be having children with this person or uh, pregnancy is what I'm seeing here. We have reunion, second chances, getting back together is now possible. And it says keep an open heart. So for those of you where you don't really have a past with this person, take that message as coming together for the first time with the Ace of Cups. Um, we also have friendship here. What is their next move towards you? We have solitude. We have a letter, a message or contact from your love is on the way. Okay. And I almost feel like the solitude energy kind of reminds me of the hermit in which your person has had some time to really think about things. Um, they may be kind of messaging you, contacting you to kind of um, build a bond with you. The friendship energy here, you know, starting things off for the first time and a friendship foundation is something that is very much necessary um, in connections okay the the energy of a friendship and ha being able to get along with each other and build something more into that um so yeah we're seeing communication here coming from your person it says second chances here. So for some of you, that is reconciliation starting over. Okay. I am seeing new love at the bottom. And it says destiny is guiding you to new love. Trust your intuition. Okay. So this to me is this new opportunity for you and this person to start new or to start over. To start over again. Um, let's see. Pile number three, what is their next move towards you? We have blossoming abundance and community. Okay. So to me, both of these energies here are about you and this person rebuilding, rebuilding with each other, coming together, spending some time with each other, like a reunion that we're already seeing here. What is their next move? Carrying connections. 
okay? So to me, this is this person really feeling that you and them have something very special with each other and this person not wanting to lose that. This person messaging, communicating with you, letting you know that they have had time to really reflect upon things, think about things. What is their next move towards you? Forgiving and learning. Okay, so forgiveness may be something that is necessary for this connection, especially if this is a connection that you are revisiting. And it says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay, so that can be forgiveness uh, towards each other, you know, for past mistakes, past things that have been said. Um, if you've had any type of conflict with this person, that five of wands and the six of swords would be your person kind of wanting to move beyond that. You know, especially if things have been difficult, your person is wanting to kind of take that from transitioning from the difficult energy into something that is more calm, more balanced, more peaceful. What is their next move? Yes, we have what? How many mentions of children here? So some of you may have children with this person or there could be a pregnancy, like I said. Um, it is safe for you to love. And it says open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So it's kind of like this person is trusting. But they can open themselves up to this connection, show you what you mean to them, show you that they care. Um, we also have engagement underneath the deck. Okay. And it says your love life is ascending to a higher level um, of commitment. Okay. So we're definitely seeing com a coming together um, for you and this person, a reconciliation. Um, some of you may have children, family with this person or pregnancy that is here, but we have communication from your person on the way, okay? Being able to resolve conflict, whether it's conflict that they have with you or conflict that they have within themselves that they're moving away from so they can really open themselves up to this opportunity for love with you, okay? So I'm going to leave it here for you. Pile number three, I hope this was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading.